Uh, yes, so I will, I will be talking about sites and list items Delta APIs, which we recently made it to GA. So the problem statements statement was basically uh, first of all, these APIs were in beta for more than around one point five, uh, one and a half years uh, and more. And uh, one of the this is one of the efforts to address the issue. Basically, we shouldn't let um, the APIs to be in beta for too long. And another issue, another thing was basically partners need these APIs in GA so that they can uh, use these APIs as uh, their migration plan to scan guidance. So uh, because uh, generally we don't recommend partners to use the APIs in beta for their pro environments. So uh, first is uh, like sites Delta API. Uh, first, I want to talk about that. What is Delta APIs? Delta API is basically uh, to detect the changes at scale without enumerating all the items. For example, sites Delta API. Uh, using sites Delta API, we can get the uh, newly created sites updated or deleted without. Uh, we don't want have to enumerate all the site collections. So uh, how that would work is. Uh, yeah, we can just call site slash Delta API in the starting. Uh, one second, let me show the yes. So we can just call uh, sites Delta API. It will this is for the initial enumeration. It will uh, enumerate all the sites uh, uh, in the tenant and it will give us next link or Delta link. I will give the demo later on uh, after uh, going through the doc. Uh, so it will give us a next link and Delta link which we can use. Uh, next link is for next set of uh, uh, sites uh, in the next page and eventually we will get the Delta link which is for, uh, to get the next set of uh, changes. So for example, uh, we can just call sites Delta. It will give us the set of sites and it will give us uh, Using next link, eventually we will get the delta link. For example, uh, yes. Yeah, we will get the delta link and when we get uh, we will call this delta link. Uh, we will get uh, we will from that point on till the uh, current point we will get uh, what are all the sites which got deleted. For example, in this exam in this given example, this given site is deleted. We won't get all other sites. So I can show you in the demo. Um, let's say similar. Uh, yeah. Second. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is uh, similarly uh, we have list items Delta API. Uh, this is to get detect the changes in the uh, list items. So this this also has the similar uh, uh, similar structure sites uh, site ID list list ID and the items slash delta and it will give us uh, the list of uh, all the uh, list items which got which got changed. So let me show you the demo once. Um, OK, so for example, we have for example in this site in the documents we have these items and when we will do let's say Delta. So this is the first initial enumeration. It in this it will get all the items. Otherwise, if we don't want to enumerate all the items, we can just do token is equal to latest. Yeah, this will just give us the delta link. It won't enumerate through all the items. Now let's say I add some new item. Uh, let's say I add one more folder. And now if I call this delta link. It will just give us uh, that newly created folder. This is folder five that we created. Only one item it will give. It won't uh, let us enumerate all the other items. Similarly, if we let's say if I uh, rename it, let's say. Um, or some other item, let's say, uh, OK, I renamed this one.
Yeah, and now if I call this. So as you see, we got the F6 underscore renamed. Only this item it will cover will be in the response. So uh, similarly, we have uh, sites Delta API. Uh, as this is a similar behavior, I'm not uh, showing it here. But uh, any site created, updated, or deleted will come in sites Delta response. So Yes, now the next steps is basically uh, graph the existing Delta APIs. They are not uh, following this uh, graph change tracking guidelines basic in which basically we would have some more uh, particular annotations. For example, for the deletion scenario, we'll have add removed and why the site was site or list item was deleted. There's some extra in information that would be uh, coming as part of graph change tracking guidelines, which we are working on and that would be available by the next month. So uh, because graph doesn't want more APIs in the old format, that's why we are doing it. And that would help us to be consistent with the rest of the other uh, Delta APIs on graph. So these are the next steps uh, which we are processing. So uh, yes, this is the documentation links of these two APIs. Uh, yes, if you have any questions, you can uh, ask me in the chat or you can ask me now. So this is basically this is the uh, yeah this was the effort of making uh, beta APIs to GA and we don't want to keep more APIs in beta for too long. Mm -hmm.